To have a Mac, let's face it, it's great. To have a cute Mac is better. But to have a cute Mac that still helps you be productive is perfect. Let me show you 20 ways you can customize your Mac, make it cute, but still helps you be productive. The first thing you can kind of play around with are the settings. To go to the settings, go to the Apple on the top left corner and go to system settings. There, there is a few things you can do. In appearance, you can choose an accent and highlight color. The accent color is the color that is used for various elements such as buttons, links and selected text. While the highlight color is used to highlight selected items on the screen. I personally chose yellow for both. You can also play around in desktop and setup and display. There you can choose for example the size of your dock and how large the magnification effect is as well as the effect your windows have when minimizing to the dock. There is a lot to personalize there so take your time, play around and see what are your preferences. You can also change the aspect of your pointer in accessibility, display, pointer. There you can change its size and color, both outline and fill color. There is a lot of way for you to pick the perfect color for you, even entering the X code. This makes it perfect to match your pointer with the accent or highlight color you chose for your Mac earlier. For example, as I told you, I chose the yellow so I can make my pointer the exact same yellow as the highlights. You can find all the X color codes for every accent and highlight color on my blog and the link is obviously down in the description below. You can even create a cartoony old school appearance for your Mac by going to accessibility, display and select increase contrast. This style looks better with the blue or graphite accent and highlight colors and a basic black and white pointer. Now let's focus on the desktop. Desktop is the most important part of your Mac in terms of looks. It is the very first thing you see when you switch on your Mac and it's its very base layer. To improve it, you have a few things you can do. First, if you have a Mac OS 10.14 or later, you can set up a dynamic wallpaper. Dynamic wallpapers change automatically their appearance throughout the day and can be configured to match your system time and change in sync. You can set up one of the native ones, download another one like mine that are available in my shop or create your own. To set up a native one, go to your settings wallpaper and there you can choose. To set up one that you've downloaded, just right click on the point hex, H -E -I -C file and click on set desktop picture. And that's it. If you want to create your own, you'll need a few images. The best is to have one of every hour of the day. You can draw them like I did or set a camera somewhere and take a picture every hour without moving the camera. Now go to dynamicwallpaper.club and create a free account. Then go to create and there just drag and drop your images. Give your wallpaper a name and choose time. And if you have photos with metadata, you can even choose sun and your Mac will sync your wallpaper to the sun path instead of the time. If you choose time, select the time you want for each photo, each image, or select suggest time if your images are in the right order and the first one is the one that is going to be midnight. Don't forget to choose which one you want to be the default image, the light mode default image and the dark mode default image. After that, choose if you want to make it public or not and make sure you have the right to use those images and click on create. The dynamic wallpaper you just created will appear on your profile and there you can download it. Once you have the file, just right click on it and set desktop picture and 
that's it now you'll have a super cute wallpaper that will change throughout the day and show you how it looks in your image at that time of the day to have cute files icons on your desktop or anywhere else for that matter it is really simple right click on the icon you want to change and click on get info to open the information window you can also do command i choose the new icon you want in your files and drag and drop it where you see the old icon in the information window you can also copy and paste the new icon onto the other one it even works with transparent background images like the ones i have and it also works with external drives like usb drive sd cards and all that stuff when you remove them and reinsert them they will still have their cute icon you can even do the same with third party apps icons and the new icons will show in the dock and the launch pad if you don't see the changes applied immediately to your dock just hold command key and click on the app in the dock and it should refresh to the latest app icons another great addition to your desktop is a clock yes i know you have one already in your mini bar but you can get a bigger flip clock on your desktop by downloading the app desktop flip clock countdown i checked on the app store and this app does not collect your data so that is a great news none of the apps i'm going to mention are sponsored or even affiliate it's just app i found and like with this app you get a flip clock on your desktop that you can customize and if you get the paired version you can customize it some more i personally got it and it was one euro and 19 cents so yeah I think it's worth it and make sure you click on the icon on the menu bar and click on launch at logging and if the setting window did not open you can still open it through there too another tip for your desktop is that when you click on the time on your menu bar a widget column will appear like when you swipe left on an ipad's home screen i really liked the one i made on my ipad so i'm going to recreate the same with widget smith if you are just anything like me you hate when your files and apps are just all over the place on your desktop and finder for a cleaner looking desktop and finder click on the desktop and in the menu bar click view and then view option there on sort by click on snap to grid and your icons files and everything else will finally snap to a grid instead of being randomly placed there you can also play around with the automatic stacks size the grid spacing and everything so just take a look around and play around with it okay let's get to the menu bar the menu bar is very important in terms of productivity. If used correctly, it can help you loads with your workflow. To customize and declutter the menu bar, just press command key and move the icons around. To delete one, just drop it onto the desktop. And if it's a third party one, you might need to have to change its menu bar setting in the app directly and if you have deleted a native one by mistake you can still go to the settings in control center and play around with the ones the native ones you want to see when and how my personal favorite is now playing it shows you what you are listening to and you can control it from there including netflix shows youtube videos spotify and everything you can imagine while we are in the control center settings there is a ear thingy called hearing that is for background sounds like white noises rain stream oceans you can choose to keep it in your menu bar or on the control center i chose the latter and from there you can choose the background sound you want 
and how loud you want it to be. You also have the same on iPads and iPhone if you like it a lot. Still in control center at the end, you can choose the menu bars clock options and you can change it to analog if you want and you can play around with its settings and the dates also. My favorite app to have in the menu bar is Flow. Flow is a Pomodoro app that is really simple, but I like it a lot for that simplicity. It tracks your Pomodoros and when you play a bit in the settings, you can get it to show your break timer full screen to remember to take breaks. You can also have the timer on the menu bar to check how long you still have. And that is really, really neat and clean looking. And that's the best thing about that app is that it's really clean and good looking in my opinion. Sticklets is a note app that resides in your menu bar. It is like a scratch paper on which you can copy and paste text. It is really customizable and I like it a lot for that. With the free version, you get three notes. That's plenty in my opinion. And you can drag them out of the menu bar and have them as floating notes. That is also really, really helpful. And one of my favorite feature of that app is the calculator. You can add notes to see what number is what. And I just love that so much. And it does not track your data either. So that's always great. And finally, an app that is perfect to keep your menu bar clean and clutter free is Hidden Bar. It does not track your data either. So that's a plus. And what it does is that it hides and show everything you put on the left of the arrow and the bar and you can also make it auto collapse after the amount of time you choose it is really really great for a cleaner and clutter free menu bar next up is the screen savers a good tip for any screen saver whichever you choose is to go on its option to go to the options you just have to go to settings and screen savers and the one you choose will normally have a little option button more often than not, it will offer you a lot more personalization options than you thought. The very famous Flip Clock screensaver is the free Flip Clock screensaver. To download it, just go on Flip Clock's website and you will be able to download it for free. I like it a lot, but it does not give me as many options as the screensaver Flip Clock from the desktop Flip Clock app countdown thingy from before gives me with this one i can choose to display the seconds or not and i can choose from five different fonts and the color of the text as well and the best feature is that you can choose a background image and of course i took full advantage of that and created an image with my tiger's theme to fit the clock and i love it so much. To download this screensaver, you have to have the app from before and there you can, in the settings, choose to download the screensaver. Then all you have to do is double click on the screensaver, install it and go to the options to be able to personalize it like I told you. If you liked the countdown feature from the clock app from before, you will love Countdown Screensaver from Screensaver's Planet. To set it up, just like the others, just double click on the point saver file and install it. With the option, you can choose the dates it will count down to or from because you can choose a date that is either in the future or the past. So you can set up the date that is the anniversary with your partner or a important date of some sort and I really love that feature and I really love that screen saver too. Finally, let's focus on the lock screen. If you choose a Memoji as your profile picture, it will be animated on your lock screen and it will look at your password when you type it and it will be sad for you when you don't type it right. It is really cute and I really like it. To set it up, just go to your settings, click on your 
profile picture and there normally you can choose a memoji. To have a message on your lock screen, go to settings, lock screen, and there you can write what you want as a message that will show on your lock screen. If you have a MacBook, it might be a good idea to write your phone number. So if someone honest finds your MacBook, if you lost it, they could call you and give it back to you. I used to do that on my phone when I was younger and kept forgetting my phone everywhere. And it proved helpful more than once. All right, those were my 20 and one tips to make your Mac cute and still productive. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. If you want to see how I made my iPhone and iPad as cute and productive looking as my Mac, just go check those videos. They are really, really nice if I do say so myself. And if you really, really like this content, just subscribe. Don't hesitate. It helps a lot. And you too. So why not? And I see you. Bye.